welcome to Fraxton and the second round of the HSCC Historic Formula 4 Championship. Uh, it was two weeks ago when the championship started at Donington Park and it was Ben Sims that took quite a dominant victory around the national circuit. It was Max Bartel and Michael O'Brien that completed the podium and it's that pair of drivers that will sit on the front row for this race. It's Michael O'Brien the novice that sits there on the front row, the two Murray Mark 20s, it's Matt Bartel that sits alongside him for this run, uh, the 124.269 around the Fraxton circuit that Michael O'Brien did, and that is an average speed of over 100 miles per hour. Matt Bartel in second, he was only six tenths down at 124.881 in his Merlin, and then in the third on the grid it will be Ben Sims in his Jomo JMR7, and Sims doing a lap of 124.991. Sims is a championship leader, of course, after just the one race. He'll be looking to take the win. And fourth is our guest driver this weekend, Tiff Nadell. Back in his car that he raced in 1972, 42 years ago here at Bruxton. He took his first win. This was in the Lotus 69. He's back in the car this weekend. He set a time of 124.99. Eight. We expect O'Brien, Bartel, Sims and Adele to be a very close competition around this run circuit. Really good for Slip Jim. More drivers who may well be in next fifth place on the grid. Stuart Baird in his Merley Mark 11A. And he did a time of 1 minute 25.515. Baird wasn't quite able to go with a front group at Donington. He'll be looking to do that here at Bruxton. Will Nuttall did qualify six. He won't be starting the Jamin T2, I'm afraid, qualified only after four laps and he's um, had to pull out of it. There is your grid on your screen as I've been running you through it. Seventh, that's Brian Morris in the Lola T202. Petty Caveri, Andrew Mansell and Kevin Stance. That is your top ten here at Fraxton. Expect a Formula Ford slipstreaming thriller around the Fraxton circuit. Twenty minutes in store on this quickest circuit in the UK. Two races this weekend. This is the first race taking place on Saturday afternoon to finish the day off here at the HSC. So you the lights out. we races a good start from Ben Sims for the second row of the green. He tries to squeeze between Bartel and O'Brien. Can't do that. So that's allowed. Look at that. Stuart Baird who makes a good start. He's trying to go for third out of Allard as they head down towards the complex for the first time. And it's side by side for the lead between Bartel and O'Brien. It's O'Brien that's got the inside line. Bartel around the outside and Brian just losing in front, it's three wide to third, Tiff Nadell on the inside here, he's having to back out of it, Ben Sims, he's swooped around the outside, um, getting there as well is Brian Morris, as they go now onto the faster, down towards Noble, it's the top three already making a break, it's novice drive by Brian that leads, Bartel there in second, Sims in third, as they turn into Noble for the first time, in the fourth position it's Joe Ben, but Tiff Nadell looking for a way through, now they keep their foot flat to the floor around here and there's Adele diving up on the inside of his load so you know he's got to go after the top three if he lets them break away they'll break the toe and he won't be able to go with them and now we can run aboard with Sims because the two leaders go side by side down towards Church Corner now and it's Mark Bartel that goes through he takes the race lead as they head now down towards the chicane it's O'Brien down to second Sims there just hitting the curve the car sliding out now they go down towards that chicane what can Ben Sims do here? Not quite close enough, I don't think. If they go hard on the brakes, into the right, left, right of the chicane. And O'Brien goes back into the lead. So Michael O'Brien leads away. Then so as they complete the first half of the race, it's Michael O'Brien, the novice driver that leads. In second, Bartel. Third is Sims. Sims looks up on the inside as they head into our large corner. Can he get ahead of Bartel? No, Bartel swoops across the front of his car. So Bartel stays in second. It's, it's O'Brien, though, that leads. They head down towards the complex end for the second time of this race. And Tiff Nadell's going with them. So it's four for the lead. They turn into the right-hander there. Bartel has got Sims right on his gearbox as they head through the corner but Sims can't find a way through Sims also racing in the historic Formula 4 2000 championship this weekend Stuart Baird there in fifth trying to go with the top four then in fifth position uh, it's that car of Baird then it's sixth is Andrew Mansell seventh Brian Morris eighth is James Buckton in ninth Kevin Stans and tenth is the 56 car of Roland Svensson we go back on board with Ben Sims as Bartel launches an assault again turning into chance corner the two cars 
leading there. Came a bit close. They could have clashed wheels there, but O'Brien realised the Bartel was on the inside. Now Sims carrying speed through the corner. And Michael O'Brien now having to defend hard to prevent Sims. But then they head down towards Chicago. And O'Brien sits in the slipstream of Bartel. So he goes to the outside for the braking zone. Sims sits behind the two of them. Sims is a much more experienced driver in this trio. And look, the two leaders outbreak themselves ever so slightly. Sims can't make anything of that, but he knows this first half of the race just staying with the two leaders is the crucial thing to do down towards Allard then turn through the right hander O'Brien back in the lead I think and they head down Ben Sims really now trying to find a way past Bartel or is he defending because Tiff Nadal trying to come around the outside in the Lotus set so we've got three different marks of Formula 4 we've got the two Merlins at the front Joma with Ben Sims in the Lotus of Tiff Nadal and O'Brien starting to break away now because Bartel has got Ben Sims very much in his mirrors as they head up towards Noble and now look at that Sims looking to the inside you can see there taking a much tighter line than Max Bartel but he can't quite squeeze his way ahead of the Merlin the two Mark 20s of both O'Brien and Bartel continue to lead the way and it's Jomo we're on board with him once again Ben Sims providing some great footage aboard the JMR7 around this Ruxton circuit again going down towards Church Corner it's again Bartel who's looking to the inside line he takes the lead and he slices up on the inside of O'Brien and Sims using the speed through the corner to try and come back alongside O'Brien but O'Brien using the slip stream of Bartel pulls clear of or Sims and goes back to the inside line so it's side by side with the leaders Ben Sims was thinking about going to the middle of them decided against it it's O'Brien that goes back to the front and it seems going to get second around the outside of Bartel here but Bartel chops his nose off there so they can't pop across the line it is Michael O'Brien you can see the top four really breaking away Tim Nadell can't quite find, find a way past Ben Sims once again there's Stuart Baird he was having a bit of a lonely race there in his fifth Brian Morris is up to six it's James Buckton in seventh position it's Matty Kaviri just ahead of Andrew Mansell in the battle for eighth position as they turned their way through Allard but it's Ben Sims on the defensive now because Tim Nadell looking for a way around the outside the fifth gear presenter they're in that fourth position, ex-Formula 1 driver, touring car racer, sports car driver as well. It's Andrew Mansell there, going up on the inside of Patrick Kaviri. More battles behind them and Kaviri tries to come back at Mansell as they head on to the far stuff. You can see parts of the side of the road there, one of the super touring cars retiring for the earlier race the day so now we can ride aboard the number 90 car this is the Elden Mark 8 of Daniel Stance he's trying to go around the outside here and I think he may want to get it done to go ahead of Roland Spencer through Noble yes he does it that's a very brave move around the outside of the mile in Mark 17 so board then with Daniel Stance Daniel Stance in the number 90 car second of the novice drivers well and truly in the mid pack, just getting himself ahead of Spencer, as you saw there. Just inside the top ten, this battle heading out down towards the cane. A few Elgins in the field actually. Uh, the his dance has got Jeff Buckton, the other holding up the field. And you get it very tight for the chicane. And Spencer goes back through using all the curb in there. With stance. Now this is a replay on board with Bartel. He fell a bit behind we saw last time to Michael O'Brien but he slipped him his way back into the lead as you can see there. So it's Bartel ahead of O'Brien and Tiff Nadell's gone ahead of Ben Sims. So Sims down to fourth. Nadell up to third. They go back onto the really, really quick part of Ruxton. 1600cc cars but flat to the floor uh, and you see there Spencer on the back of Andrew Mansell now they head off for a trip on the side right on board
power up. Five, six car battle. And all the inside of the team that has hands on the flow. Yes, probably qualifying this morning. Maybe those problems are coming back. It's four for the lead though. And it's O'Brien that goes to the inside of Bartel. The two leaders side by side. Then it's O'Brien going around the outside. He takes the lead. He goes ahead of Bartel. The two for Adele seeing the opportunity. He comes up in the inside and he muscles his way through. Bartel on the grass and the Merlin spins there. Max Bartel there. Off the circuit. He will be able to rejoin the fourth. Is Baird going to possibly get past? Yes, there goes Baird. Let's have a replay then on board with Sims. So you can see O'Brien swoop around the outside. It's that tighter line. Bartel's slow. So Tiffany Adele sees the opportunity, dives up on the inside, but then doesn't really leave Bartel any room on the exit of the corner. Let's have a look at the close view. Let's come forward with Bartel. Just left the door open ever so slightly, which Michael O'Brien went for, then swooped around the outside with that tighter line. Bartel was slow up to the corners, and Adele squeezed up on the inside really leave any room for Bartel on the exit of the corner. Very hard move there from Nadal. So let's have a look how that's left the order then. It's O'Brien that leads. Second is Sims and Nadal looking all over the back of it. So Sims has got ahead of Nadal since that moment last time by when we were looking for those replays. So I think Bartel, where has he rejoined? Let's have a look on our timing screens here. I think he's fifth. Just behind uh, Stuart Baird. So he'll be looking to try and get back ahead of the Mark, when, no, Mark 11. It's Baird in, as in the Svensson, and Kevin stands. That goes side by side, and Kevin makes his way from the inside there. Getting well in the mix as well. Junks are Dan Stantz, a novice driver, and just behind him, Nick Ball. It's great battling in the middle of the pack. It's Ball kind of come around the outside. Can't do it, Dan Stantz. Searches his authority in that inside line for the noble corner. Stays in front. And now, look at this. Up on the inside of Spenston. He did this earlier in the race, and he slides his way through. Dan Stantz right from the edge here. Can't oh, really go sideways there. Holds on to it. Sits in the slip team with the car in front. Yeah, but that's Kevin, isn't it? Kevin stands in front of him. Okay, through church corner. Famous corners. The Fruxton circuit. Cars right on the edge there. Now, up the hill. Up towards the cane. They haven't braked for a long, long time. Not since the complex and then heavy on the brakes for the chicane. I hope the brakes are still there when it comes to that point. Stands there, gets the car a bit too sideways this time. The car rotates, so he'll be dropping right down the order. The car's so closely bunched today at Fruxton. He'll be losing a lot of positions there. It's Michael O'Brien that leads, but it's Ben Sims, the multiple time race winner, the ex champion in historic Formula Fords, is right on his tail. Diff Nadal there as well. As you say, 42 years ago he won here in the Formula Ford. And Bartel has got ahead of Ben Sim uh, Stuart Baird there. So that's a change of fourth. The battle for six going well between Brian Morris and James Buckton. And a bit of a gap back to eighth. It's Petit Kaviri in that position, just ahead of Kevin Stance, where Dan was there. A bit of a gap now back to Roland Svensson. And up on the inside of him has a look as Nicholas Ball can't hide away through. It's Andrew Mansell just behind the pair of them. Benson and Merlin. That is Nicholas Ball. Now we ride on board with Ben Sims, who's challenging around the outside into the chicane. It's Michael O'Brien up on the inside. O'Brien's going to assert his authority on that inside line then. Yes, he does. And, oh, he gets it a bit wrong there and goes for a spin, I think. Michael O'Brien then spins out the chicane. So it's Ben Sims that leads. Now ahead of Tiff Nadell, so it's down to two in the leading scrap. So what was a four-car battle just a few laps ago? Now it's a two-lap battle, Bartel been squeezed off the road. Michael O'Brien perhaps just pushed into a mistake and now Tiff Nadal comes around the outside of Ben Sims headed into the complex. Can't find a way through. Ben Sims now. Slightly different race now. There's just the two of them in it. See how each of them, very experienced drivers. Ben Sims extremely experienced in this championship now. The man to beat really in historic Formula Ford. 
bit further back in the back in the uh, pack. Have a look what's going on here. It's Andrew Mansell ahead of Alex Meek. Go back to the leaders because Tiff Nadal is challenging. Nadal in the Lotus goes through then to the inside line into the chicane. So it's Tiff Nadal that leads now. Ben Sims down to second. Power up across the line. Down towards Allard. Ben Sims having none of it. He comes back on the inside of Nadal here. And he goes back through. So Sims leads again. So Ben Sims leads the way. Down to second. Goes Nadal then. So Sims leads. Heading down towards the complex. Let's ride on board. Now, with Kevin Stance. He's having a strong race. Well inside the top 10 at the next pitch. Kaviri, we're chasing. Heading down into the complex then. So this is where we go right. Left. On board with Stance in the Merlin Mark 20. One of the most popular vehicles in this championship. We go, we go red flags, red flags here at Fruxton, and that's going to bring an early end to the race. On on count back, it's Tiff Nadell that wins the race just by 600 a second. He only led the race by what one led it for one 200 meters, but he takes the win. It's Ben Sims who gets second position. Michael O'Brien in third after that spin. Maxim Bartel, who him and O'Brien really led a lot to begin the race, so they finish third and fourth. Stuart Baird in fifth, and Brian Morris completes the top six. More racing tomorrow, Fruxton. Here on the Easter Revival weekend. Okay, Michael. Thank you. Congratulations. Andrew. Thanks very much. Novice winner again, and very close to being at the front. Well, yeah. Oh, thanks very much. You'll be out in a couple of weeks.